Hello and welcome back to another video. This weekend I'm planning to do the South Downs Way which runs between Winchester and Eastbourne. I've just left Winchester. I left around 8 o'clock in the evening. Um, so a bit later than I planned. But yeah, the plan is to ride a little bit tonight. Maybe a 10 or 20 miles. And then start early tomorrow morning and try and reach Eastbourne on the South Downs Way and then camp somewhere there and the weather looks pretty cracking as well yeah I think around 28 29 degrees so yeah that'd be a bit of a scorcher one I think it's such a beautiful evening So quiet here. I mean, it is about nine o'clock, but I've barely seen anyone since leaving Winchester already. So the sun has just set. Um, there's still lots of light in the sky, and I'll probably try and push on as much as I can tonight, just because it's quite nice and cool at the moment. I don't know, tomorrow is going to be quite hot, and also. The route just gets quite busy, especially on a sunny weekend. So, yeah, I might try and do another couple of miles before I find somewhere to sleep. So it's around 10 o'clock and I've just found a field to put my bivvy in and camp for the night and yeah it's still quite warm at the moment um, so yeah it's went for the bivvy yeah so I think it'll be a nice night Morning. Back on the South Downs Way. It's around half five in the morning and I started around four o'clock. Um, I wasn't planning on leaving this early but I was sleeping in this field and then saw around half three I saw a farmer taking all the cows to be milked and I didn't really fancy getting trampled over by a whole herd of cows so yeah I just packed up and left but yeah stunning today I've just seen my first glimpse of the sea. I think that's um, Portsmouth over there. So I did actually try and do the South Downs way about a month ago now. Um, and I got here and a little bit further, um, but then I came across like hundreds and hundreds of runners. And I realized after a few hours of trying to slowly overtake them, um, that they were doing the whole route, the whole hundred miles in 24 hours or 48 hours um, and so I yeah I soon realized that I wouldn't be able to get away from them yeah and some of the paths were quite narrow like bridle ways um, so I just sort of stopped and turned around and just came back on the road so it's the second time lucky for me
so it's just gone around nine o'clock and yeah I've been riding for about five hours now and yeah definitely starting to feel the heat already especially on the climbs it's constantly just up and down and I think it gets worse towards Eastbourne but yeah it's been so quiet so far mainly just a few cyclists um, there's a few other people I've met that are doing the whole route in one day so it's definitely possible I'll see whether I get as far as Eastbourne or not tonight but yeah it's amazing up here Yeah, there's not that much tree cover on the route, so it's all quite open. And not much shade. Just up for some lunch. It's around half twelve. Got about 37 more miles to go to Eastbourne. So I think it'll be manageable today. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to camp. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice to be in some shade for once because it's so, so exposed and it's just constant heat. <laughs> but yeah, legs still feel all right. So I think as long as I keep hydrated and have enough sun cream, <laughs> it should be all right. Even though it's still really hot, it's probably one of the hottest days of the year so far. Uh, probably around like 28, 29 degrees. Um, but the closer I'm getting to Eastbourne and the coast, the more sea breeze I get, which is definitely nice. Seriously hot now. Oh. I think there's only about two more. I think there's this climb and then one more before Eastbourne. Oh, if I can tell you, you can't come soon enough. It's around half four, I think, so it's sort of the warmest it's going to get. <laughs> yeah, about four miles left to reach Eastbourne and the sea. I'm not quite sure where I'm staying tonight. Um, either find a campsite or wild camp somewhere outside Eastbourne. <laughs> Made it. I got to Eastbourne. It's quite a struggle the last like a few hours. I think just after being on the bike since four in the morning and in the heat and all the climbing, I think I did like 10,000 feet of climbing today. Um, so yeah, and I just lost like all energy when I was going to Eastbourne. Um, so I left quite quickly um, just because I wanted to find somewhere to camp. Um, yes, yeah, so I found this little woodland. It seems quite quiet. So yeah, I was going to watch the sunset, have some food and get an early night. Um, it felt so good riding on the road again. It just felt so smooth and fast after being on the gravel tracks all day. It's just constantly up, down, up, down, up, down. So yeah, I'll have some food now and then rest. So after completing the South Downs Way on the Saturday, in the full heat, the next morning I felt pretty knocked out and didn't really have much energy. I had originally planned to cycle back to Winchester the following day on the roads, 
but I didn't really have the motivation or the legs to do that. So instead I just cycled along the coast for a bit um, towards Brighton and then decided to get the train back from Worthing back to Winchester. There are a couple of things which I didn't mention in the video which I probably should have. Firstly I used a gravel um, or adventure bike. It had 35mm tyres on which was probably just about enough. I definitely wouldn't recommend going any lower than that. Most of the sections the gravel bike was fine. Um, there are probably one or two sections which I had to get off and walk just where the rocks are too big. Um, but yeah overall it was fine. Lots of people do use a mountain bike so it's really down to your personal preference. Um, but a gravel bike should be fine. Secondly, it's important to add that if you want to do the route, most of the sections aren't that close to any shops, uh, apart from a few pubs or cafes, but there are lots of water fountain points along the route, um, every sort of 10 miles or so, so it's really handy to fill up your water, um, especially if, it's, if you're doing it on a hot day like I was. I think someone's plot them out on Google Maps, so I'll try and link to that below. But yeah, it's really handy to know that there are water fountains available on the route, so you know you can fill up whenever you need to. But yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy adventuring!